since the person forming the group has the responsibility for the condition of love in the group, it is imperative that the person who formed the group starts to understand what love would do. What would love do in any situation? Because right? if the person forming the group doesn't know what love would do, do you think they're going to attract anybody into the group that, who knows what love would do either? <laughs> of course not. Right? So it's, it's very important that the person forming the group has some self-analysis about what they believe love to be, has some analysis from God's perspective about what love actually is. So, so for example, angry person comes along to the group. So angry Mary comes along to the group. Right? <laughs> now, in your country, it's there, there, there. What's wrong? What, what's going on for you? You know, we spend more time with the angry person in most countries than we do with anybody else. Is that not true? Well, I call that pandering to the angry person. Right? Because if the angry person comes to the group, they're bringing along this terrible energy uh, with them. Their, their own emotional energy is, is angry and resistive, right? And on top of that, they're going to be surrounded by spirits who also will be totally willing to use this person now to attack anybody in the group. Is that not true? So now I've not only got the person, but I've got their entourage to address Right? And it is my attraction. I'm the person creating the group. It's my attraction. What do I do? Now, you know what mostly happens? Oh, yeah, no worries. It's great to have a new member in our group. That means we've got two now. We're so popular. <laughs> we've doubled our membership. <laughs> it's so good. I've got lots of friends as well. Yeah, yeah, bring <laughs> them along. Bring them along. Yeah. And then if the person gets really angry and says... I'm not going to come to the group again if you like this. We go, okay, okay, I just won't be like that. You need to keep coming to the group. We start pandering to the person who is in the lower condition of love. Now, does that, we, the reason why I brought up the way God organizes the spirit world, if we've got a, a spirit in the third sphere of the spirit world and one in the first, can the first sphere spirit even get to meet with that person? How? No, no he can. Yeah. So how? Nice how. Yeah. Uh, so Floyd? The one in the third He has to come has down to and come have down. a chat with him, doesn't he? Basically, that's what's got to happen. He's got to come down and have a chat with him. That's the only way they could even meet is for the person in the third sphere to exercise some of his love to share with another person who potentially needs some help. So on earth, it's not, that's possible. A person in the third sphere and a person in the first sphere can meet easily, can I not? Yeah. So, so that's all very much a possibility. In the third sphere, not possible. In your forums, it's possible for that to occur, isn't it? Yep. So how do you prevent it from occurring? So in other words, if this person comes along and they bring in all their anger, you know, rage, all of their condescension... Control all of their control right, into your Facebook forum. Now, God's laws don't allow that person to do that in the, in the third sphere. So what would you do if you were running your forum the way God's laws run? Would you allow that person in the forum? No, you wouldn't. And then, and then what say there were all these other people who were a little bit better conditioned and you removed this person from the forum because of, of the condition and then all these other persons attacked you for removing that person. What would you do there? Is a person who attacks another able to be in the third sphere? No, they're not. So what would you do? You'd remove them too. It's just <laughs> you and the group. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I guarantee it won't be just you and the group in the end because you will have worked through some things and your, emotional, your emotions will have changed and therefore your attractions will change. Does that make sense? So you're ready for new attractions. You'll have worked through some things. Now, if you don't do that, if you don't do what God naturally does with the spheres of the spirit world, if you don't do that, and remember, I'm not talking about this being your definition of love. I'm talking about it being God's. Right? If you don't do that, what does it do? to that location, whether it's a physical location or a location on the internet 
or whatever. What does it do? Monty, what does it do? It brings it all down to the lower sphere condition. Correct. So now we have a forum that really resides in the hills. And this is why many of the forums that people on the Divine Love Path start finish up residing in the hills. Because they just pander, pander, pander to all the people who are in an angry, hellish condition, right? trying to bend over backwards to listening to them, and they don't get rid of either the people... When I say get rid of we're not getting rid of them like cutting their throat. <laughs> we're getting rid of them from stopping the influence of their lack of love on other people. Right? You don't want to be a person... If you set up a forum or, or something in your own home, you don't want to be a person that just enabled a group of nasty people to come along to attack a group of other people who are nice. You don't want to do that. That would be the opposite of what God's laws would require of you. And, that, and yet that is what's happening most of the time on these forums. Does that make sense, so, Patricia? Okay, this is kind of a big question, but uh, as I understand it, God created the earth in a different way than the spirit world. Different, God did. Different things happen here. Yes. So is it that our goal is to, to change the way the earth works so that it's more like the way the spirit world works? Well, that's certainly mine. I don't know whether that's yours. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the option that God has given us. Okay. Yeah. It's under direct control of our will here. Yeah. See, more of God's will is exercised in yeah. these spheres. So that's what we're trying to do. Here. Yeah, we're yeah, trying really. to refine our will here. Or well, I am. In, in the end, he what is. we're trying to do... <laughs> In the end, what we're trying to do is bring, isn't it, bring the earth from its hell condition into a higher condition of love. How are we going to do that? By acting in hellish or by acting in the higher condition? You can see that we need to get to the higher condition and act in harmony with that higher condition. Now, if we know what God's laws would do in any situation, one way that we're going to assist ourselves to do it is to work in harmony with what God's laws say. And that doesn't matter how much attack you get from others. So someone will go and say to you, so, like, so for example, let's say I'm that person and I removed this person because they were projecting anger, rage, condescension, control. They were belittling, they were personally attacking other people on the forum, not even myself. Right? And in fact, if it was myself, I'd be having a bit longer of a process about it before. But if I observed it with somebody else between two other people, then my process is quite short, like instant decision. Right? But if it, if it was towards me, then I would at least have to go through some emotions about it first, right? because I realised I attracted that somehow, and what am I attracting it to learn? So I'd have to consider these things. But let's say I'm this person, and I removed this fella right, from the group. So I've removed his influence. Isn't that a good thing? If he has no desire to come to this condition of love, which is what I want my forum to be in, uh, I want my forum to at least be in my condition of love, surely. I'm the one who started the forum. I surely would want it to be in at least the condition that I feel I am in. And if I could feel very strongly that he's definitely not in the condition I'm in, my first question to him is, do you want to become more loving? And if his actions and everything are proving that he doesn't want to become more loving, then I'm, I, I, I must remove him from what I've created in order to maintain the purity of what I've created. It's a, it's a, it's a must, not, not even an option, if I really wanted to progress towards love and God. So I, I remove him. And then all of these other people in the forum who were in a bit higher condition than he was go and attack me for not honouring free will. In other words, they use a, a divine love or divine truth term in order to attack me. And I go, no, I did honour his free will. He could freely choose to act in the harmony with love. And he didn't. Does that make sense? And so what do I do then? I have, I have to honour my own free will by saying, well, you're not choosing to act in harmony with love on my creation. Now, isn't this the same principle as if they were, you were inviting them into your own home? Let's say you invited somebody to your own home. They walked in the door. They started, you know, weeing in the corner, <laughs> defecating in the other place, 
you know, smashing like you smashing cuts. up your crockery. And uh, what would you be doing? <laughs> would you be going, oh, free will? <laughs> like, now, if he did it to his own house, that's fine, isn't it? He's allowed to do it to his own. If that's the condition he wants to live in, in a hellish condition in his own house, that's fine. It's none of your business, actually. But the fact that he's doing it in yours, that's definitely your business, is it not? Right? So definitely your business when somebody is harming you in some way in your own place. Or harming others. Or harming others in your own place. Let's say they came in, you've got a family of four, and you've got a, a daughter and a son. And this, and this person comes in, and they start beating around your son. Like, and this is what's happening on many of these forums, by the way. This is what is literally happening. People come into the forums and they start beating up other people on the forum. And would you say to your son, you're attracting that son. He's got his free will. He can beat up on you. Would you do that? No. You'd go, hang on a sec. This is wrong. You need to leave. Well, otherwise, I'd call the police, wouldn't you? Right? So, so why aren't you doing the same thing on the forum? And then somebody, all they have to do is say, oh, but it's free will. We've got free will on the forum. No, you don't have an unrestricted use of free will. If you believe you do, you haven't understood any of my teachings properly. The reality is, every decision you choose to make, if it's in harmony with love, you have complete freedom. That's the only condition. If it's harmonious with love, you have complete freedom. When it's not harmonious with love, you don't have complete freedom anymore because the laws have consequences that have an impact on your soul and your environment immediately. So that's not freedom anymore. Restricted. So, so the freedom is dependent upon love in a lot of ways. Can you see? You're, you're being restricted now with your will. And God's laws have been created for this very purpose so that no anarchy can exist in God's universe. And if you read through the pageant messages, one of the primary things we said over and over again is anarchy cannot exist in God's universe. God made laws that govern his universe. Yeah, and it's great. <laughs> Isn't it? Like, Phew. At, you know, it's, it's a great thing. So, so if I'm this person who's trying through the best of my ability and current understanding to, to have my forum that I created or my home that I created as a forum to have a group of people come and learn more about truth and learn more about love and grow in humility and grow in using their faith and growing using their will and that was my desire to create that particular forum or create the environment in my home as a, as a gift to other people to come, then, then I have the responsibility to make sure that at least it stays at what I understand love to be. At least that. Right? And as soon as somebody else comes along and projects anger and rage and condescension and disapproval and humiliation and reverts to personal attack of other people there, I've got to go, hang on a sec. This is not where I want my forum to be. Now, if you want a forum to be there, you go off and create your own hell forum. Do you see? That's what they're creating, a hell-based forum. Go off and create your own hell-based forum, but leave mine alone. 